The first example is a beautiful pair of Giorgio Armani ready-to-wear trousers taken from his high-end ready-to-wear collection from 1993. The owner of these pants told me that she paid around $1,000 for them. They're interesting in many ways. Uh, first of all, notice the, uh, the quarter lining. These pants are lined only in the front and only from the waist to just below the knee, which is a common technique for lining men's pants. Notice first that the lining hems are actually the selvage of the lining fabric. In other words, the fabric was cut on the cross grain in order to take advantage of the finished edge that the selvage provides so that there were just no, no efforts needed to be made to to finish the edge by folding or top stitching or uh, overcasting. This is a very common technique in uh, men's tailoring, probably women's tailoring too, but I've seen it mostly in men's tailoring. The, the, the pattern piece has been placed in such a way as to take advantage of the selvage. On any fabric, the selvage is the thinnest possible finished edge available for that fabric. We'll see this over and over again in, in uh, many of the garments that we're looking at. This lining has essentially been used as an interlining. The lining was not inserted. It's been cut and basted to the pants pieces and then treated as one layer throughout all subsequent construction. Notice also the wrinkles in the green outer fabric just below the hem, indicating that the lining here is has been attached so the inner layer is a little bit smaller than the outer layer. In most cases, lined garments are made so that the lining is loose on the inside of the garment, keeping the, uh, the lining from distorting the, uh, the outer fabric. But in this case, it's plain that the lining is a little bit tight. This makes sense since the lining is designed to take the stress at the knees, keeping the outer fabric knees from being stretched, but it's a matter requiring a lot of judgment on the part of the maker to know exactly by how much to make the lining smaller. The next feature that I find interesting here is the lined fly shield. Fly shields are definitely a part of every menswear trouser that I've ever seen or worn, but it's not always a feature on women's garments. This fly shield has been extended at the free edge to create a button tab. You notice the buttonhole at the top there. It's actually buttons to the button just to the right of the, uh, the red circle. The most interesting part of these pants to me, though, is the waistband. Uh, what we're seeing here is how the, the waistband has been, uh, has been faced with a piece of Petersham. Petersham is a heavyweight grosgrain type ribbon used primarily by hat makers. Peter Sham is easily available, washable, shrinkable, shapeable, but its chief virtue is that it has two finished edges. Peter Sham doesn't need to be finished in any way, nor does it need to be folded under to create any additional bulk. So it's a perfect facing for this very soft waistband. The outer fabric of the band itself has uh, been very lightly interfaced with knit fusible, and that's it. The band is nothing more than the outer fabric, a little bit of fusible interfacing, and this uh, soft but sturdy Petersham. 